my channel. On my last class, I showed you people on how to calculate forward computation. Today, I'll be showing you on how to calculate back computation. From the table we have, from station bearing, distance, data nothing, data listing, nothing, listing, then to station. We have four station A, B, C, D, the back to station A, B, C, D, then to A, which means it's going to be a closed traverse. Now, in order for you to calculate for your uh, bearing and distance, we have our coordinates for nothing and this thing. And then we have this formula for bearing, for distance. Why we have this? So, in order for you to calculate your data nothing and data is thing, we have, we have to subtract station B from station A, station C from station B, station B from station C, then station A from station D. That is, 713292.599 subtract from 713275.53 is going to give you your data notice. Same thing for your listing. This subtract from this will give you your data listing. So now we go. This subtract from this, what do we have? 17.167. This subtract from this, the formula for this subtract from this we have. 17.167. This subtract from this, we have what? Minus 0 0.694. Minus 0 0.694. For the next station B, we have this subtract from this. 1.034. 1.034. Then we have this subtract from this. It's going to give us 39.493. 39.493. For the next station C, we have this subtract from this is going to be plus minus 17.157. Minus 17.157. Then this subtract from this will give us what? 0 0.214. 0 0.214. Yeah. Why for the last station D we have this subtract from this will give us minus 1.045. Minus 1.045. Why this subtract from this? Minus 39.013. And that's 9.013. Now, after you obtain your data listing, your data notice and data listing, the next thing for you to do is to calculate for your distance and then your bearing. So, in order for you to calculate for your distance and your bearing, what you do is to use this formula. We have on the board here distance equals data notice squared plus data listing squared. That is, data notice. Square 17.167 square plus you don't you, this is every point six nine four will be square. Don't mind the sign beside your value. You just square where you have the value that is 0 0.694 square. All square is going to give us 17.14. 17.14. For the next station we have 1.034 square plus that's my point four nine three square. Then all square will give us at nine point five one. At nine point five one. Five one. For the next station, station C. I told you earlier on you don't you you won't mind the sign beside your value. What you just need to do is to square what you have. So we have seventeen point four five seven square plus. 0 0.214 square is going to give us what? 17.16. 17 17.16 square. Then for the last station D, we have 1.045 square plus 39.013 square is going to give us 39.03. 39.03. So this is the formula for calculating your distance. Now we have our distance. The next thing for you to do is to calculate for your bearing. In order for you to calculate for your bearing, what you do is to use this formula bearing because at stand tan inverse data easting over data notice that is data easting first before your data notice. So it's going to be minus zero point you, you, you don't mind this value. This this is your sign here, you won't use it yet. 
what you do is you take your value 0.694 divided by 17.614 17 17.6 17.167 then any answer you obtain from that is going to be that time inverse of that answer will give you a value. So after you've got you've gotten that value, that value now you've got you now determine what to do next. So now which will lead us to this? Which will lead us to this quadrant that we have here? First, second, third, fourth, cast. Yes, here on the first quadrant, any value that falls within this first one is going to be positive, and you won't do anything about it, it's going to be like that. But any value that falls on the second quadrant is going to be theta minus that value, that is the value you obtain minus 180. Same thing for the third quadrant, it's going to be the value, the quadrant plus the Value you obtain, why the last one has the value of P minus 360. Here we have plus plus minus minus, that is plus times plus is going to give us plus, plus times minus give us minus. So that I was, that I was able to have minus here, minus times minus is going to give you plus. That was why we have plus here. This times this is going to give us plus. Here we have minus plus. Plus times minus is going to give us minus. So now, to do that, I told you earlier we have this formula R tan minus 1 over delta ist divided by delta notice. Delta ist divided by delta notice. Here we have, I told you, this both sign, you have to you have to solve for the value for before you mind your sign. That is delta ist divided by delta notice. Then any answer you obtain will be act on that answer to give you a value. So you hold that value. Now we have minus plus on the quadrant here. We have minus plus, minus plus, minus plus. So we fall on the fourth quadrant. So we, what we do is that value we obtain subtract from 360 is going to give us its value. So what, what do we have here? 357 degree. 357 degree. 41 minutes. 41 minutes. 5.997. 5.997. Let me show you. Let me show you one example so that you can know how you are able to get that. Yeah. We have 0 0.694 divided by, I'm using this formula here, actan inverse, the Tyson value of the Tanotis, 0 0.694. You know, I told you, you will my design first, divided by 17.16. 17 mm -hmm. So I was able to obtain the value 0.040. 0.04042639. So from that value, I was able to press my shift time, which will give me my act time, time pass. I obtain the value. So the value I obtain now, I will now come to this quadrant. Okay, now I have negative positive. Now you know, this thing is coming before your notice, so we have negative positive. So we come to a point that locate where you have negative positive, negative positive on the fourth quadrant. Now this value I obtain now is going to be. You can save the value you obtain on your calculator. Now you want to say that you just press shift, then you press store. So you can save it with any. You can save it with any alphabet on the on the calculator. So I'll save the value now. So what I'll do is the value I obtain now that is 360 minus the value I obtain. Mm -hmm. So which gave me 57 degree 41 minutes 5.99 seconds. So that was how we are able to obtain our bearing. 
For the next one now, it's going to be for station B. We are going to have Aqua Universe, same thing with the previous one. Aqua Universe, the pricing value of the not is that is 39.493 divided by 1.034. And then that answer, we give you a value. Now we have plus plus, which one of the first quadrant? So we don't need to do anything for that since we are having it on the first quadrant. So it's going to give you a direct answer. I told you every value that falls on the first quadrant plus plus, we maintain it. So it's not it's nothing we added to it. So what do we have here? 88 degree. 88 degree. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 0 0.84 seconds. 0 0.84 seconds. For the next one station, see we have this thing 0 0.24214 divided by 17.157. We should give a value. At another value, you give us a value again. So now we have plus minus plus minus which one of the second quadrant. So that value you are paying now, that is that value that is 180, is going to give a value. So which that value is what? 179 degree. 179 degree. 17 minutes. 17 minutes. 7.23 seconds. 7.23 seconds. Why for the last station we have station D? 39.73. 7.23. Oh, sorry. 7.23 seconds. 179 degrees, 17 minutes. Yeah, 7. Point. Okay, 7.23 seconds. Why for the last station we have station D? That is 39.013 divided by 1.045. Which you give us what? Here we have. Well, uh, this this one is falling on the second contract. Negative, negative, negative. This value is falling. We're going to fall on our third bond contract. That is one eighty plus theta. You know, minus sign minus is going to give us plus. So that value you obtain, and that value you obtain plus one eighty is going to give us two sixty eight degree. Two sixty eight degree. Twenty seven minutes. Twenty seven minutes. 56.3 seconds. 56.3 seconds. So that is how to compute for your batch computation. On my next video, I'll be showing you on how to calculate area using double latitude and double departure. Thank you.